particularly within the industry, I think that it's quite easy for us to be snobby, perhaps, about the really famous pieces. So there's a few, maybe uh, Allegri's Miserere as well. Mm, yeah. I don't know how everyone feels about that piece, but I know lots of singers who kind of just hate doing that piece. It's the experience of singing that piece has never relaxed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because there's this true. like, Yes, yeah, who's gonna mess it up? <laughs> As a musician, it's sometimes hard to love things which have been done to death. Mm. Yeah, especially if there's a season for it. Like often with some pieces like the Messiah and the Missouri, you get certain periods of time where you may end up doing it about 20, 30 yeah. times. Mm. And so then it's really hard when you come to like your 15th performance to be like, no, this needs to be just as fresh, mm. you know, as the beginning. remember that like how it would feel if you weren't a musician and yeah, exactly. you know, I think like sometimes I visit my family and one of those pieces will come on the radio on Classic mm. FM and they go oh I love yeah. this piece and you think like the only yeah. reason that maybe I don't love it is because I've done it loads of times or used, I've, used just, to I've kind of got desensitized to it. It is hard to unstick yourself you can't go back in time and not experience it though. Mm -hmm. but, but there's certain yeah. pieces that I could not listen to anymore because I'm like, I've heard that a thousand times. It's important to recognise credit where credit is due. I think clinging to certain pieces is, we've got yeah. new stuff coming there's up also, all the time. There's also like interpretation, right? I think, because we're, we're talking about like an interpretation of that piece that we all know. Whereas there's this French recording, the poem harmonic recording, which is, sounds totally unrecognisable. Like oh, which piece? Of the Allegri. Much more improvised and like they would, it's their, their, their like historically informed the version oh, of it. Wow. So, listening to it like that makes it sound like a completely new piece. And they do loads of really funky, chromatic stuff that we were just English guys would uh, probably not do. Has anyone ever done a concert where people were talking about how they didn't like a certain piece and then you go out and it was the audience's favourite piece? Yeah, all the time. <laughs> what you were saying before that we get used to, to, used to it, and for a lot of people, they don't hear it. You know, they hear it once a year.